Well, hello there. So, um, I don't know. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm just making a little bit of a rant, uh, video ramble. Uh, I don't know. What better time to do it than while well, disassembling an MDD? Uh, so, first of all, I'm not killing this thing. Had a dead PSU, it was um, in a computer store and I got it pretty much empty completely. I have the uh, logic board over there, but yeah, it's it's pretty much empty. I also got a CPU with it, a single 1.25, which overclocked um, to 1.67 just fine. <clears throat> but it's a single CPU, I'm keeping my dual 1.33. Uh, but the point of disassembling this thing is to see if I can fit uh, water cooling inside of this. <clears throat> and by water cooling I mean, let me get the radiator. Uh, a dual 120mm radiator right here in the front. So that means removing all the rivets for this. Oh, it also didn't come with the... Uh, optical drive tray and all that uh, You know putting 120 there a water block in the CPUs and we'll see if I can water cool the GPU The GPU that's something else um, So I bought a 7800GS AGP I went to flash it And it turns out that Nvidia being well Nvidia uh, had produced a cheaper version of the 7800GS with a newer chip, the G71, instead of the regular G70. And it turns out I couldn't flash it at all. So yeah, that, um, that 7800GS now lives in a, in a dual Pentium 3 machine, which is not bad, but I wanted it in my G4. So, that's for that part of the GPU, so then I went on eBay and I found a, an ATI Fire GL X3 GPU, and I'm hoping uh, that one will be flashable. I think those are flashable to X850 XTs, so there's an X800 ROM for them that you can flash. And on the X800 ROM, uh, sorry, the X800 ROM uh, fits into a 64 kilobyte uh, EEPROM, which is what the PC cards use. But I happen to have a couple of dead uh, Radeon 9000s with 128 kilobyte EEPROMs. Which means I can fit the X850 XT ROM in the Fire GL. Plus, that ROM actually includes uh, includes all the uh, drivers and the kernel extensions for Mac OS X in the ROM itself, so I won't have any driver issues. So hopefully, I'll get my X800, sorry, my Fire GL X3, which, let's face it, professional video cards are just uh, consumer video cards with a different BIOS. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get that. And I'll be able to get that working. Because I am tired of using a friggin' FX5200 in a dual 1.33 GHz G4 because that is the, the bottleneck of the system uh, That is the absolute but it's a bottleneck. It's really bottlenecking the system uh, I don't want to do this with pliers just in case I break something so the, the plan is to uh, Modify this case for water cooling and ooh, look at all the dust bunnies there uh, yeah, now how do I open it? I just lost this little thing. Oh, look, this has like metalized coating. Not 
white. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the plan is to modify this case for water cooling and uh, see if I can put my MDD like the one I have now inside of this and make it quieter because that thing is annoyingly loud like it is just absolutely ridiculous like it is stupidly loud um, it, it gets to the point of being unbearable so that that's actually the only reason I am uh, I am water cooling all this stuff it's not because I overclock, which I am overclocking. Uh, hopefully the fire gel will overclock. Uh, since I cannot get a 7800 GS. And well, the CPUs are already overclocked. Uh, they are overclocked from 1.25 to uh, 1.33. They won't go any farther because it's one of the first revisions. Uh, so it's a 7455A, sorry, it's a pair of 7455A CPUs, which means that they won't overclock at all. However, the 7455Bs, those, those usually get to like 1.67, no problem with like a uh, 50 millivolt voltage pump or so. And one of those is what I really want. Uh, sorry, one. I, I already have one. Um, I need two of them. So yeah, with with two of those, I would probably be able to have a dual 1.67 gigahertz G4, which I am pretty sure would beat uh, a dual 2 gigahertz G5. So yeah. And what I'm doing this all for is, uh, I started with the whole risk challenge thing, right? So I I said that I would use uh, PowerPC and Risk and Arc, uh, sorry, and Spark uh, machines for a week, right? I started like that, uh, and I would, you know, videotape it and all that. But the thing is, I've already been using PowerPC machines and Spark machines and a MIPS one too. Uh, it's just an embedded thing. It's a, uh, a Netgear firewall, uh, which I have installed FreeBSD on. But yeah, I've been using RISC machines for like two weeks now, almost. So yeah. And I, I found them to not be a limitation at all. I was expecting it like I made the whole risk challenge thing to be a challenge. And so it is not. <laughs> it is not. You can use them perfectly. Like the Pharma G4 that I'm using right now, the other MDD. That thing is really fast. And also I cannot get the freaking Apple off this ultra pliers but yeah I, I was not expecting these machines to be so fast I didn't remember them being so fast so let's go back to the G4 why not um, I I wanted to put an SSD in it well what do you know it was that easy uh, but I wanted to put an SSD uh, in the G4, and I even got an SSD for it uh, out of another computer. But uh, I want to format it, and it doesn't format. It doesn't format. Like, I cannot get it to format. And I tried to, with another SSD, same thing. Um, and I do not know what the issue might be. I, I think it is something with, to do with the fact that I'm using like an old controller, old SATA controller. I'm using a, what was it, Silicon Image, SIL3112, 
that's SATA 1 and it doesn't support like native command queuing or any of that. I think that is, uh, that might be uh, one of the issues. I think it is the native command queuing and all that. But I'm not sure. I, it just doesn't format. It just doesn't work. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly at a loss here. Uh, I cannot get the SSD working. I know there are SATA 2 controllers that will fit this thing. Um, there's one model from Seritech, I think it is. And I know uh, that that uses, a, I think, a SIL 3150, no, 30, 3124. Uh, chipset and I know there are cards out there with that chipset. I know you can Probably change the EEPROM in one of the regular cards and just flash it with the Seritech firmware Issue is the cheapest uh, card I can get with a chipset Is 30 euro and that's not even a 64-bit PCI version Ideally I would get a 64-bit PCI version, but I don't know Who thought Wi-Fi on a desktop was a good idea? So, yeah, that's for the SSD. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I find it plenty fast with um, with the 80 gigabyte hard drive that it has right now. But uh, I honestly don't know. So yeah, um, I'll have to remove all the rivets from here. Oh. Hmm. I'll need to get my drill. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop this since I cannot edit video right now, or I don't know, I cannot do it efficiently. Let's just say that uh, I cannot do it efficiently. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be. Hopefully, I'll be getting a little bit of an upgrade in my video production pipeline soon. Hopefully enough. And yeah, so let's see. I don't know. Let's let's look at the layout of the thing. So it's just a metal box. I can just look at that. Of course, I'm not going to put any optical drives in it because it's 2017 and, you know, optical drives in 2017. I mean, it's almost 2018. I'm, I'm filming this in uh, in December. It is the 26th, 27th, maybe. 26th, I think it is. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get this tiny cable out. Why does Apple love gluing everything down? There we go. It's an ID cable out. I don't want to damage any cables here. Wow, that's a long ID cable that they use. What? The entire spec? This is like one meter, almost. Uh, let's see, front panel. Let's get that off there. It's stuck to the back. There we go. Hope I'm doing all this in shot. <clears throat> enough and the speaker here Let's get that over there like props to them I mean they managed to 
rub the cables really well on this machine. Uh, for such an old case design, you know, they they really did it nicely. Um, yeah, again, props to them. So yeah, that's well. I'll remove this fan too. I don't know why. I'll, I'll just remove it. See if I can put a better fan there. So yeah, that's, that's simply. I'm I'm water cooling this because, well, the MDD is one noisy machine. One really, really, really noisy machine. Even the. Newer models are just noisy. Also, something else I am doing. Um, I am putting an ADX, an ATX power supply in it. Since I'm going to have uh, so much space here, which is where the original heatsink, let me fix that. Uh, the original heatsink, which can be either one of these, which is one of the first revision heatsinks, or one of the other ones with a finer. Uh, fins it's, or the copper one with heat pipes uh, it's, it's so massive right here it goes so it goes here it's mounted to the chassis so it still fits that closes and fills up this entire space leaving only space for a power supply up here so what I want to do is I have some broken uh, MDD power supplies, so what I want to do is uh, use the back panel from an MDD power supply, put it here, put some fans blowing out of here, and I'm also going to put an ATX supply here, or at least I'm going to try to, and I'm going to try to point it upwards, so like with the power outlet uh, upwards so the um, all the heat comes through here I'll hopefully remove this piece and all the heat comes from here and gets routed to there maybe I'll make a little you know uh, thing there or maybe I'll use the blower from I don't know an iMac something like that I like I, I have tons of iMacs now I don't know how much how I've ended up with so many friggin IMAX, but look, here's the fan uh, from an IMAX, a little blower. So, I don't know, maybe if I can fit it there. I don't know. But yeah, I'll put a couple fans. The plan is to put a couple fans up here and just make them blow air out. And, uh, yeah, have the ATX supply just blower up like from here up then just route the cables through the original path like down here and like that uh, Yes, I will lose a hard drive mounting uh, I will lose uh, hard drive mounting places. I don't know where I'll actually put uh, the hard drives Up here, maybe since I'm not gonna have optical drives. Maybe I can move this thing which has the mounting down here maybe i can move this to the top and i can just mount the hard drives up here and just run sata cables down to the board because yeah i i need to put the thing up here because if i if i put it right here uh back close that is gonna interfere with all the expansion cards so i need to put it here in the front so it won't collision. So it won't collide with any uh, expansion cards. And also, yeah, well, it, it has a lot of ventilation on them here. Maybe you cannot see it because that is dirty as all heck. But it does have a lot of ventilation down there. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really to say. Um, I'll probably put this fan on, like I'll probably put it back on. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, I gotta fix.
think about how I'm going to mount uh, the radiator. So I know I want to do a pull on the fans. I don't like fans pushing. Plus, if I'm going to mount the radiator here, it's going to be hard to get the fans out just to clean them. So I'll just do pull on the fan. And yeah. Uh, I'm on there and then the PSU. Yeah, I think I have this pretty much uh, sorted out. Pretty much, yeah, I'd say so. So yeah, that's it for this video, honestly. And also, I passed uh 200 subscribers. I think I am at 202 or so. So yeah, thank you everyone. <laughs> Actually, uh, I have to do a face reveal, but I promised uh, some some anonymous person on a certain image board that I would show my face when I got to 200 subscribers. So I will probably have to do so. And the thing is, I'll, I'll do it when I get the whole video upgrade uh, thing because right now uh, honestly this camera doesn't make me look very good it's not like I look good anyway but yeah so yeah that's that pretty much that's it for this video I'll just update you whenever I put this thing uh, I already have pretty much all the parts except for fittings and tubing and I don't know when I'll, be getting, when I'll be getting that, but yeah, for now, I'll just try and fit everything. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And you know, if you liked it, I don't know, you know, uh, you know, there's a like button down there. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, 